It's January 2020 and we are starting out the new year with a new resolution. That's right. Well, we're just going to try something new and that is that we wanted to open our home and our hearts to fostering a dog. Uh, and LA Animal Services actually has a new campaign um, that kind of works for us in our lifestyle. It's called Five to Thrive and the idea is to basically make your home like a hotel for dogs so they can come in and just get five days out of the shelter a nice break if they're in there for months and months and uh, just stay with you for five days really easy commitment <laughs> guys so we just left the shelter and this is pistachio uh, pistachio was rescued from a high kill shelter and brought into LA animal services and um, the poor thing she was actually uh, used for over breeding for breeding but she was overbred and you can actually see um, the effects of that on the area where she would nurse her puppies it's really really sad and so um, she was about to be euthanized she was on a list to um, be euthanized but she's such a sweet sweet dog and all the staff fell in love with her because she has such a sweet personality um, but obviously she's having a hard time getting adopted because um, she was a victim not by her own doing of overbreeding and it's really sad so she needs a little break from the shelter and we're gonna bring her home now and introduce her to Arthur Okay, so I'm now at home. I just came to get Arthur and he can definitely smell the shelter on me. So we are going to go bring him outside. The um, shelter recommended that we introduce the two dogs to each other outside. And uh, I'm gonna bring Arthur out. Arthur, do you smell? Do you smell pistachio? Um, and let's go see if they get along. So we are walking around our neighborhood now with two dogs. Uh, we're not trying to force anything. They were really into each other. Now they're kind of ignoring each other, but we just want them to be like cool with each other's energy. So we're just letting them get to know each other on their own terms before we bring them inside our house. saying thank you to Mike. She keeps like rubbing her backside into him and like giving him kisses and saying thank you, thank you. Look at her. She's just so happy. <laughs> so sweet. And Arthur's so happy. brought her to the ocean and she's wagging your tail and giving me little kisses to say thank you. Is this your first time ever at the beach? Have you ever been to the beach before? You're welcome. You're welcome. Sand on your toes? The sand on your toes? of my concussion. I am not sleeping well. Um, I didn't want to keep Mike up, so I came out here to the living room. I'm just lying down on the couch. 
a little bit of company. Pistachio, sit. Good, good girl. girl. Okay. Yelling. Good boy. Ah, oh, good girl. <laughs> Alright guys, whole gang's here. <laughs> um, so we wanted to just tell you about our experience uh, participating in the Five to Thrive uh, Foster program. The question we've been getting from a lot of you is, what would it be heartbreaking for her to um, have to go back to the shelter after having such an amazing week? I think dogs like live in the moment a lot, so they... I, don't, I think that they'll just kind of, it's just a nice break for them to yeah. get out of the shelter and then... It's just so nice to see her happy and like the thing is, is we want to be able to give a break like this to as many dogs as possible. Um, and there are so many dogs like Pistachio that are big dogs. These big dogs just don't get adopted as quickly as some of them are in there for months and some of them are in there for years. And like what the people there told us was that they, a lot of them go through, um, what's it called? Like a kennel. Um, Syndrome. Yeah, it's like called like getting kennel crazy and what they'll do is they'll just start like spinning in this I know it's coconut milk. Um, they'll start spinning in their cell, like just spinning and spinning and spinning in their cages and they go crazy and when they get into that mindset you can't untrain them and they often have to they have to get euthanized. Yeah, can't get over so um, being able to give these dogs a break, get them out of those cages, um, you know a lot of these shelters they actually offer um, the opportunity to just bring these dogs out for like one or two hours and just walk them or go on a hike with them. When you're fostering, it's really important that you find a foster that's gonna fit into your household because we looked at a few different fosters um, that were available and looking back at some of the ones we looked at, I'm so glad that we listened to the shelter and we took Pistachio who she recommended, who they recommended because she's gotten along so well with Arthur mm -hmm. and been so great in our household and it's been a really nice five days for her and a really nice five days for us. Squirrels! <laughs> she's She's been amazing. I was like kind of wary of Pitbull but she's been super nice and Yeah, sweet. she's really like made us realize how sweet Pitbulls are. That I think, especially for you, that really weirded you out was like her like body anomaly. Right? Like yeah, she's kind of out. been part of overbreeding, so she's been like stretched out a little bit and her like nursing and everything. So, yeah, so yeah. Her, her body's like some of her, where she used to nurse, some of her like lady parts are really stretched out and it looks different. And that's why this sweet girl was put on a euthanasia list because people thought that no one would want to adopt her because of how her body looks, you know? And yeah. to be fair, we judged her about it, but like it was what, like not even a few hours before we didn't even see it yeah, anymore. Yeah. Like she's just such, such a great personality and we just stopped seeing it. We bought her a Lakers jersey to help cover it up and um, we took it off after a day. Yeah, because yeah, she just really didn't need it. Yeah. Um, you know, I think the other thing too that is like, you know, not to go into like a whole like woke rant about femininity and like body image positivity, but I think as women um, and as females, we are often like expected to do things like breed and have children and then like our bodies are shamed because of you know we have to like feed our children and raise them and then like you know this your boobs don't look right or things are sagging or and there's so much shame around that and to see that projected on a dog is I think such an interesting phenomenon so sad as well because like she was what happened to her body wasn't her fault she gave life to like hundreds of puppies and now her body is like changed from that and that's not her fault that's like the people who bred her yeah. you know and for for her to be on a euthanasia list when she's so sweet because like it really really broke my heart and it speaks a ton to like body positivity that we project on females but anyways that, <laughs> that put aside yeah. um you really don't see it after a while so yeah we don't even notice it anymore at all yeah so people have asked us a lot on social media, like, why are we not keeping her? Why don't we just adopt her? She gets along so well with Arthur H. Woolsey. So why don't we just keep this sweet girl, right? You're so sweet. You're so sweet. 
Um, so what's your answer to that? So it's been tough to keep her, um, or to, you know, have two big dogs and walk them around. Um, you know, we already have one big dog who's pretty active and pulls, and then she's a little bit of the same way, which is great, yeah. but it's... It's been child. amazing having her for five days, but we definitely know that we can't have two big dogs. I mean, I had to walk them both separately, so we hope that we can bring the kind of happiness and the vacation that we were able to give to this sweet puppy um, to a lot of other dogs yeah. um, while they wait for their forever homes, because whoever gets this one is going to be so lucky. They're gonna be so lucky to get you. So today we bring her back and obviously we are dog people and she's bonded with Arthur. So do you, what do you think today's gonna be like for I think, you? I mean, it'll be sad to see her go. and um, But I guess like the kind of positive side is hopefully soon she gets adopted and finds a home that she can go to forever. So it's been over now. Yeah. She was like the most grateful dog. It's so cute.